perfect victim. Perfect victims, but far from perfect witnesses. It was told by private eye, Brian Gates, placed in several police interviews. He says three of the women are not credible. Remember Carla Rains? Hey there, it's one of my favorite seasons, Halloween. Let's get started on a quick painting pumpkin painting tutorial excuse me so I'm gonna go through materials I have a marker acrylic paint two small paint brushes a small pumpkin you can use any size you want but it may be best to start with a smaller pumpkin paper towels and a cup of water So let's get started. I'm going to start by sketching out the face, starting with the eyes. It's best to start your sketching out pretty high up on the pumpkin so that you will definitely have space to fit the entire face on. Of course, this depends on how big you have your eyes, nose, and the mouth of the pumpkin. I'm just sketching the eyes. It does not have to be perfect, of course, because we will be painting over this anyway. But what you do want to do is let the marker dry before you begin painting. Also, painting on a pumpkin is a lot different from painting on paper or any other surface because first of all, it is not flat and there is also a texture and ridges in it, as you can see. So that just makes drawing lines and stuff a little bit more difficult, but it can definitely be done. Now that I have the eyes all sketched in, I'm just going to sketch in some eyebrows really quickly. The eyebrows can be big or small, um, long or short. Feel free to be cr as creative as you want. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Now onto the nose. I'm keeping the nose really simple. So you can just do like a uh, maybe like a curved line at the bottom and just connect it to the eyes at the top. As you can see, I have a reference image for the mouth. You can pull up different cartoon faces or different cartoon features by doing a simple Google search. That is where I found this photo. I'm just using it as a reference image so that I can sketch it onto the pumpkin. I'm just adding the teeth in there. And I'm all done. On to the next step. Yay, now on to the fun part. Okay, so let's get started with the paint. I'm going to start with the whites of the eyes. You will need multiple layers of paint. I would say about three. So I'm just gonna paint all of the white areas first, starting with the eyes. After the eyes, I'm gonna move on to the teeth, after the teeth, I'm gonna go in with some black, fill in the eyeballs and also the mouth. And we're gonna use the orange for the nose and the top of the eyelids. Now I'm gonna go ahead and speed the video up. I'm just finishing off the second layer of paint. I'm gonna fill in the eyebrows and then go back over the black areas. I've already added a second layer over the eyes. 
After this layer dries, I'm gonna go back in with one final layer. Just finishing off my final layer of white paint on the eyes, I'm going to go through the same steps again. Now that the final layer is dry, I'm going to begin my last step, which involves outlining everything in black. For this step, I'm going to use a very small brush a detail brush to make it very easy to outline everything. If you don't have a steady hand, it may be best to probably keep, skip this step because it is kind of hard. This step is optional. We're all done. How cute. Now I just have to think of a name. Thanks for watching.